praise the Lord. Father, we worship at your feet. We glorify your name. There is none like unto thee. Who is like unto thee in all the earth? Who is like unto thee among the gods? Who we sit and we stand at we stand in your presence in awe of you. We honor at your feet. We bow down in worship and we say thank you, Father, for another day. Thank you for the light in our eyes. Thank you for the life that we have. Thank you for being our source, our strength, our Emmanuel, our everything. This morning, Lord, even as we break bread at your feet, let your Holy Spirit teach us. Let your word, Lord, be hidden in our hearts that, Lord, we will not sin against you. Thank you for the entrance of your word. Bring it peace, bring it grace, bring it revival and revives us, Lord. Thank you for enlightening us this morning in your word. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. We give God the glory for another time in his presence as we open our Bible prayerfully this morning to Isaiah chapter 48. We'll be reading verse 17 and 18. Isaiah 48, verse 17 and 18. We'll be reading from the New LT. Hallelujah. I said, this is what the Lord says. Your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. I am Lord, I am the Lord your God who teaches you what is good for you and leads you along the paths you should follow. Oh, that you are listening to my command, then you would have Add peace flowing like a gentle river and righteousness rolling over you like waves in the sea. And may the Lord bless the reading of his words in Jesus' name. Amen. Today we are going to be talking about divine guidance. Yes, divine guidance. Divine guidance in a time that we seek for the revival of the Lord. The scripture we just read says, Oh, that we will hearken hearken to the Lord. Oh, that we will listen to him. Everything that he teaches us. Because he's a good God. So he teaches us of good things. He teaches us of path that we should follow. That's why scripture says his life, his word, is a light unto our feet. A light unto our path. Oh, yes. He said, your word have I eaten, eaten in my heart that I will not sin against you. Because the word of God is not just a life. And it is not just active. The word of God is at the very center of our life. We've been talking about breakthrough as we pray through this new part, this second part of the year. As we look up to God for strength, for breakthrough, for grace. Hallelujah. You see, beloved, we need to understand that the guidance that we need is in an acting to the word of the Lord. Hey, that scripture said in verse 18, Oh, that you will listen. Oh, that you will listen. If you will listen to my commandment. Oh, God is wishing, is looking for that man, that woman, that boy, that girl. That will listen to his command. And you see, for every of God's commands to us, for every of God's commandments, for everything that God asks us, there is a blessing that goes with it. And he tells us in that same verse 18, he said, then you would have peace flowing like a gentle river. You have peace. The peace is not just flowing. It is not a stagnant peace. You have peace. That is what flowing, not just flowing from any other river, a river that is gentle. Oh, very important. You are looking for peace that surpasses all understanding, a peace that is flowing, that is refreshing. You are looking for peace from a place of calmness, a place where God's hand is upon your life, where you have rest from a gentle river. God's word says, hearken to my word. Listen to my command. And he continues and tells us that righteousness will roll over us like waves in the sea. 
Oh, it is beautiful, my dear brothers and sisters, that we embrace God. The basis of our revival is that God is at the heart of all that we do. And when God is with us, oh, everything will begin to find its place. Little one, the scripture tells us in Matthew chapter 6, that we should seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and every other thing will be added unto us. Hey, beloved, the revival that God is giving to us individually, as a family, as a nation, in this year, in this part of this year, the second part of the year, the answers to the questions we are dealing with are in God. And if we we'll embrace Him, He will begin to teach us. He will begin to sow His seed in us. And because He has sown His seed in us, we will reap bountifully of the Lord because we are guided. God is still raising people that we do exploit. But only those who have positioned themselves and are seeing beyond the economic recession, are seeing beyond the challenges in the atmosphere, are seeing beyond what is plaguing them, those ones only only we take position to draw from heaven. Hallelujah. So I don't know what you are dealing with, but we have the assurance that with divine guidance, just like it happened in the life of Joseph, we will pass through and we will succeed. It happened in the life of Isaac. He knew when to dig. When they strove with him, he moved on until he found his own peace. Israel Hoboam. Hallelujah. And God is saying there's Israel Hoboam for somebody that will embrace my word and will be revived. So in that situation you are dealing with, God is there to guide, to keep, to steady, and to be before us, behind us, aside us, above us and with us within us let the power that walketh in christ jesus walk in you as you embrace him this morning and revive everything that has died into to in your life call the numbers on the screen if you're giving your life to jesus you want to renew that relationship so that we can be there to pray with you as jesus leads the way please do not allow this day go by and you do not reconcile your relationship with God. Father, we thank you for a time like this. Thank you for the entrance of your word. Thank you for divine guidance. Thank you, Lord, for keeping us, for establishing us. We we'll pray for everyone that has heard your word today. They will not remain the same. Your glory will be upon them. In Jesus' name, amen.